Hello everyone, in my first video how to make a home page uh, with different greeting dependent on different time I used 24 hours format as you can see now I'm using 12 hours a.m. p.m. format and now I want to show, show you how can we change it how can we convert uh, time hours from 24 hours format to 12 hours format using JavaScript uh, it's pretty simple look at this example I just created a simple HTML skeleton and inside the script uh, I wrote a few line of code so uh, I'm using the stable I'm, I fixed the time hours constant myself I want to do it to demonstrate the different uh, how it changes dependently on the value because if I you that if I define this constant using new date uh, and get hours it would be the same and I want to show you all the examples so what we need to do is very simple we need to use something which is called remainder or modulus you can see this character here get yeah, this character is called modulus or remainder and what does it mean it's very similar to division this is a character indicating division for example 10 okay let's say 12 divided by 12 equals 1 this is division but a modulus uh, uh, represented by this character means uh, if you divide a number by another number and how much is left so for example if you divide uh, if you do modulus 14 modulus 12 the result will be 2 because 12 is you can fit 12 only one time and what is left is 2 so to to convert a format from 24 hours to 12 hours first we need to use the modulus right so for example uh, if time is 13 so it, it, it should be 1 p.m. right 1 p.m. Uh, a bit first it should be at one o'clock so let's see if we get the value of one uh, let's uh, change let's calculate hours modulus 12 what should we get so I'm writing here document right and I should see what's the value okay it's here refresh yes we get one it means that modulus is working uh, that this calculation is working so let's change it for example to nine o'clock okay in the evening nine o'clock in the evening is 21 let's see if we get nine we should get nine of course we get nine so it means that modulus is working well uh, this calculation is working well but look there is another one case what is going to happen if we do number 12 so let's say 12 p.m noon what will we get we get zero because the value of modulus of 12 is zero and this is not what we want because when you have 12 it should be written 12 not 0 12 p.m. the same applies to 24 for example this is midnight if it's midnight we also get 0 I know I saw that a few times to, instead of writing 24 people write zero zero yeah that's possible for midnight but for noon definitely not so for these two cases 12 and 24 i suggest i mean we need to uh, add another statement here create another statement which will fit to all the situations how can we do it um, there are two ways to do it i i will pre present the first one which i did here we can use switch statement okay so i'll copy and paste this to in here uh, and we can comment out hours a.m. p.m. because now I have two variables constant hours is fixed but hours a.m. p.m. they change so if hours uh, I have uh, three cases uh, switch is similar to if statement but it's a little bit different uh, so switch hours so we're changing the the case of this hours so if hours are 12 
hours a.m. p.m. equals 12. Break if hours are 24, hours a.m. p.m. equals 12. So in two, these two cases, which I was talking about, it should be 12, not zero. Not zero, but 12. In default, all other cases, hours a.m. p.m. equals uh, hours modulus 12, which means that only these two cases are different, just to get rid of zero value from the, the hours. Okay, so now let's see how it's working. We have document right, uh, document right hours a.m. p.m. So save it and now the time is 12 o'clock. So what last time when I check it, it was zero. As you can see, it was zero. How about now? Now it's 12. It's working very well. Let's change it to 24. You also get value of 12. It means that our system is working. Let's choose 22. What should we get? Of course, 10 o'clock. Yes, we get 10. So now we, all the cases are covered. We already recalculated. We converted 24-hour format to 12-hour format. What else we need to do? We need to uh, enable AM and PM. We need to write if it's AM in the morning or if it's PM in the afternoon. I also did it here, so I just copy and paste. In that uh, case, we need to create another variable called AMPM. AMPM, it, it will be, uh, it will depend on the time. It will depend on hours. So I can just delete it, I don't need it. So let or variable, you can create it different ways. Uh, so AM, PM equals hours, hours is 24 hours format. So if hours are greater or equal 12 and hours are smaller than 24, this is PM, PM. In the, if false, means if this condition is false, if, if it's less than, than 12, it's AM. And he, I need to use and because 24 means 12 midnight is already a.m. It's not p.m. That's, that's why we need to combine this condition and less than 24. Okay, and we're using ternary operator, which I talked about in the first video. But ternary operator could be replaced with if statements, but it's much more concise and practical. So we use only one line of code. And in document write, we need to write hours a.m. p.m plus a.m. p.m. So let's see what will be the output now. If I copy, in, if I save it. Yes, it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. because it's 22. So it's, it means that our uh, statement here is working. Let's change it to six. Six, will we get a.m. or p.m.? We get 6 a.m. because it's in the morning. If it's uh, 18, means 6 p.m. Is it working? Of course, it's working. And the last one, which I was talking about here, uh, I want to check if how it works. 24. It's midnight. What will what output will we get if it's midnight? We get 12 a.m. It's correct because 12 a.m. It's uh, midnight. It's not p.m. It's a.m. If you change it to 12 noon, you will get value of PM. Yep. Okay, so everything appears to be correct. Uh, I can just uh, suggest one, one more thing, how to make this condition shorter. Both are correct. Of course, this is absolutely correct, but if you want to make it really shorter, you can use this kind of notation. So I'll comment this out. And instead of writing switch statement, we can write like that. Hours a.m. p.m. equals hours a.m. p.m. If true, the same value as hours a.m. p.m. If false, 12. So why false? Because false is zero uh, in Boolean notation. If zero means false. So if it means that if the modulus value is zero, it will equal 12 because this is condition if false. But the first condition is hours a.m. p.m. So if the value, any value of hours a.m. p.m. 
uh, is correct. So hours a.m. p.m. Uh, it's not enough yet. Let's see how it will behave now. Yes, hours a.m. p.m. need to equal. We need to declare it. Hours a.m. p.m. equals hours modulus twelve. And this is the first declaration of the variable. Later, we add that additional value to this. So we just declare it with using let. And let's see if it's going to be OK. It's not OK yet. AM, PM. I, I forgot to add. Okay, now everything should be okay. Yeah, the output is exactly the same. We can change ours. Now we should get 4 o'clock. Yeah, we get 4 p.m. So it means everything is okay. So you can use two ways. You can either use switch statement or declare variable hours a.m. p.m. and then use ternary operator to specify what should we do if the modulus value is zero, then in this case 24 or 12, we should have 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. Okay, these two values are correct. You can use these two, two ways are correct. You can use any you like best. Okay, thank you. I hope that it, it was helpful. Uh, see you next time.